Uh, hello traders, uh, today is the 9th of July uh, 2010 uh, and this video is about how to count Elliott wave like a pro, the second part of this video. In the first part of the video where I titled uh, how to count uh, the Elliott wave like a pro or counting the Elliott wave, if I remember clearly counting the Elliott wave was the title of the first part of this video. So if you haven't watched uh, the the counting wave okay counting elliot wave that video counting elliot wave you may watch it before watching this in that video uh we, we recognize clearly the elliot waves on this uh, footsie index uh, chart here uh, the first wave came out if you follow my cursor here the first wave start from here all the way up here and then the second wave here uh, this supposed to be third wave has been cancelled by this supposed to be fourth wave and then we start counting again the third wave from here and then this is the third wave now and then the fourth wave and then the fifth wave end of ideal wave cycle we sold it right here after the trailer is broken the price went all the way down here from uh, selling at uh, uh, 5147 this foot the index for 5147 the price went all the way down to uh, 5127 not bad at all that's the way you like it profitable okay not losing trade consistent winning trade either even if it's a small winning trade it's better that than uh, losing trade okay you want to have winning trade winning trade after winning trade and this is a high probability trade if you know how to count it your way perfectly you sell at the top of the fifth wave after the trailer is broken with a tiny stop loss this is what i'm talking about know your setup master it know how to use it and whenever it, it, it shows in front of you you just take it with confidence okay that's how you can achieve consistent winning trade okay if you do not know your setup if you don't know the probability of your high of your high probability trade okay if you don't know you didn't test it okay you don't know how this uh, signal function you you, you 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 just you can't recognize it you can't see it happening or you may be late to catch it that's what I call concentrating or focusing on your high probability trade, which means you know your, your, your trades, you know their setup, you know when to enter them, you know how much risk you are taking each time with that particular uh, setup. This is just a free system I'm giving here. Okay, I'm not charging anything for this one. This is free. So learn to count the idiot wave for those who are new. If we are talking about wave, we are talking about one movement, one swing of the price. So from here to here, the price went up. That's one wave, okay? From here to here, the price went down. That's the second wave. Now, we know, we locate. Our decision was not made on this lower time frame. Our decision was made on a higher time frame. And we came to this lower time frame in order to participate in the direction of the trend. Very important. Don't just jump on the lower time frame. Do your own thing. Know what's happening first in a higher time frame because making your conclusion. Otherwise, you say, oh, this person said this on the internet. I tried it. It didn't work. These are used. This are blah, blah, blah. No, it doesn't. It does work. It does work. That's why we show it in life. It does work. So right now, if you do not know how to use it, like every tool, learn to master it. Every profession has a tool and every profession tool must be learned and be mastered. Okay? Don't expect to master it like the best trader in the world steady 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 you get there okay so then we have the few way we sold it here the price went down now what's happened when do you buy after a downtrend after the tsc w24 no after we receive a single green or the trend is broken and retest it okay so now right here this downtrend that went from here all the way down here the trend is broken you see it broken to the upside give us this steam there and then pull back nice you do this two red followed by this green one here buy again here you see buy again here and place your stop loss below this one here okay you buy here you place your stop on the low point here right here down here that's why you place your stop okay you buy here but your stop is down here okay 10 pip and below this one and then you just give it a chance and see what the problem do okay give it a chance so you want to enter every trade with uh, a very limited stop loss 26 pip on the lower time frame or maximum 30 p on the lower time frame uh, for for day swing trading uh, 50 pips okay for swing trading from uh, 50 pips to 200 pips sometime 
It depends on the reward. So if you are if you are risking hundred p, which is a lot, okay, you know that uh, maybe you are in for for a bigger reward. Maybe five hundred people will be better, isn't it? Five hundred people. But you have to make sure that you are getting that trade right correctly. If you don't know your setup, okay, you didn't test your setup, and you just put hundred people online for something you haven't tested and know or master, <laughs> it's just uh, a gamble, okay. So know your signal, know your setup, know the probability of your setup, and know how much you want to risk according to your own risk tolerance, okay? You must not use more than 5% of your whole trading account on all the trades that you open at each time, okay? And also, use your stop loss, draw your trend lines. Avoid those mistakes that you make every morning before everything else open or the market open, check the news mark them down know what time of the day they are coming important news if you go to uh, www.stochastic-macd check the economic calendar okay very important and then it's there you just highlight those who are marked red are more important than those who are marked orange okay it's they have all the color coded thing so the one that are red news they are very very important you can't just disregard them those who are orange are a bit important those are yellow they are not that important and they have also the explanation of each news for you how you can use that new and everything explained to you so easy done okay and then you go to your higher time frame if you are day trader must check daily chart and four hour chart if you are swing trader must check daily chart and weekly chart if you are position trader must check weekly chart and monthly chart or quarterly chart depending what you want to do and uh if you don't have enough experience in one method of trading, if you never done swing trading, learn it first, master it first before you get into that game. If you want to scalp, know that scalping is about making a quick and fast decision and you are competing with the best trader. So your trading system must be very tested and you should master that tool before you use it. Is it if you are not sure, test it, okay? Paper trade, gain confidence if you lost so much money cut your trading capital okay so you so when you are losing it doesn't affect you so much you come in with a tiny entries okay slowly slowly to rebuild your confidence because if your confidence is destroyed it will affect your trading okay because you lost so much it will affect you for sure it will affect you okay so if you coming back into the market after losing a lot of money go slowly okay go slowly but in that case, you must first locate your best setup so you know your best setup, so you are coming at the right time, not every time of the day, you know when you should come in the market, you locate clearly your best setups, okay? You wait for them. If it's not there, don't trade. If it's not there, don't trade. Because you don't want to lose, okay? You want to win. So you wait. If it, nothing's there, walk away. Come back another day. You'll be surprised. Another trade will be there. You may spend some days without trading because if there are major news coming, the market just hold, hold up. It's hold up, completely hold up, okay? And the, the oil inventory, pay attention to that, okay? All the job claim figures, okay? The no payroll, okay? All these things, you check them, okay? Very important things, okay? So, step by step, you start building a new way of trading, the new ability, the new mindset of the professional trading at www.stochasticmagic.com our intention is to guide serious traders to adopt the mindset okay very important the 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 the, the, the discipline okay and also to adopt uh, the method of trading of the professional traders learning from them they are the professional you can learn something from them okay so don't just come in and say okay people are making money here i can also make money don't learn in the hard way like some of us did okay and watch some video on youtube read article on the internet understand your indicator know that the number one indicator is the price if somebody is saying that to you it's true okay don't don't just say no it's the indicator it's the price it's the price okay but uh, if you are new to that people find it difficult to follow the price but just know in the uptrend the price will display higher lows and higher highs in the downtrend the price will display uh, higher low uh, lower lows and lower highs and in the consolidation period the price will display equal highs and equal lows simple okay and then you learn about market pattern 
and then slowly slowly step by step working on it working on it taking only uh high probability like you enter here your stop loss is here how much is that from here that's uh, five one three one okay your stop loss uh, should be somewhere here five one uh, two seven okay so with even 20 people you are still in this trade nicely okay and the market is just going around around here a tiny stop loss you watch it what it will do okay now if it give us a nice uh, this looks like a kind of uh, higher lows here compared to this low here if this uh, low is confirmed that if you price turn around nicely here give us a higher low compared to this so you just know that the movement will definitely continue to the outside that's how you assess what's going on because you want it to go up so you want to see higher lows and higher highs and if you don't see them you know that the market is turning around again okay so you just following the price using the definition of uptrend and downtrend i hope this video also is useful to you uh, that uh, you may learn something from this and apply in your trading okay so till next time enjoy yourself and be very happy thank you